Captain Justin here. Tonight we're going to do a little snook light fishing. I'm going to share some of the secrets, maybe not so secrets, some common lures I like to use, um, basic tips I like to use. So we'll get right into it. First lure we're going to be throwing later on, a little white Z-Man jerkbait, classic for snook lights. We'll rig that up to a little owner twist lock 3-0 hook. Now, my secret weapon. A lot of people haven't even seen these and don't even believe me they catch snook, but I promise you they do. Monty's tube jig, tan on tan. This thing absolutely hammers the snook. I'm talking, we used to sit at a spot back in the day, three of us, and we would literally have a contest to see who could get to 20 snook first. It was insane. These things are great. I mean, super easy to use. Just cast them in the light, hold your eye tip up, and just give it a steady reel through the light, and you'll feel all the bumps. Wait till you feel that good bump and set the hook. Um, deeper water, faster current. I like to use the half ounce, but sometimes the fish get a little spooky. You want to drop it down to maybe a little guy like this, 3 8 lands a little softer, doesn't splash as hard. Maybe lower current, shallower spots. That one's very good. Um, these I get at Ace. I think the guy is local in Naples, so I'd have to do a little research and see if these are sold in all Ace hardwares or just Naples. But you could honestly make these pretty easy. Get yourself some plain jig heads and some surgical tubing in the color tan. And you could just you can make these for dirt cheap, I'm sure. And if you're a fly guy, we're gonna be tossing some flies too, because that's always fun in the lights. This is a little schmino, just a little white, fluffy fly. They work great. We'll be throwing those later on tonight. Well, I'm just packing up right now. We're gonna head out there. All the camera on. All right, guys, we're heading to the lights right now. Me and Dave just spent about an hour hiding from this storm. It's still storming pretty good, but kind of blowing past us, just sprinkling a little bit, a little bit of heat lightning. We're gonna try and plug a quick couple of little snook. See what happens. Stand by. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, did you get him on the dead stick? Oh, good. Ooh. There you go. There he is. There he is. Come on now, get him to the boat. Oh, this is that's a nice one. Ain't happy. Ooh. Ain't happy. Pulling drag. <laughs> Get him out of that duck. Got him. He out. He's out of the duck now. There he is. Little guy on a tube jig. So, so shortly after this, the tide started slowing down and the bite kind of turned off. This spot's a very tidal dependent spot. Either incoming or outgoing, as long as it's moving really well, the bite's really good. Um, if you're fishing a spot with good current, and you find your current dying down, head into the residential docks, like inside the canals. A lot of times you'll get an easier bite in there. So right here, I'm just casting my lure into the lights and also into the shadows and reeling it through with a steady reel. Don't jig it, don't twitch it, just a steady reel, medium fast, medium slow. Change your reel speeds until you start getting more hits. And that's when you know what they're liking. Another really cool little trick, if the current's really ripping, you can cast your lure to the shadow line, hold your rod tip up high, don't even reel, don't do anything, just let the lure sit there and bobble in the current, and the snook will actually hit the lure as it's sitting there and you can dead stick them, which is a really fun way to catch them. Oh. 
Oh. It's all right. It's all right. We got him to the boat. He touched the boat. Both sides. We got the leader Counts. touch. Got That's a, a count. <laughs> it's, like, it's like tarpon fishing. Leader touch. 50 points. All right. Let's get you one on fly. Sounds like a plan. Whew, it's fun. We got Dave trying to get one on the fly. Our current's not quite moving fast enough for the spot. It's moving decent, but a little faster would be a lot better. We're definitely active though. Hooked got up. Him on fly. Dave's hooked up on fly, guys. Yeah, buddy. Nice yes. work, Dave. Yeah. Ooh, first snook on fly, I can't believe it. First yeah. snook on fly. Exciting night. It's exciting. Congrats, buddy. Let's get him in. Thank you. Let's get him to the boat. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. There he is. Come on now. You gonna get him for me? Yeah, I'm gonna grab him. A lot of these snooks are hitting right in the shadows. Dave, what are you using on your re retrieve? I'm using a uh, just a quick, steady strip, 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 short, like three inch strips. And they're usually, right now, they're hitting it right if you get the fly right into the shadows, just like that. So just give it a little quick strip. They're hitting it right on the shadow, right on the borderline of the shadow and of light. Nice. Here's my lure that I just caught that last snook on. It's rigged up. Loop knot, always tie that loop knot. It's very important. Makes that lure look as lifelike as possible. Dave's okay, hooked up on fly again. Nice work, Dave. Hey, brother. This is my third one to the boat. I don't know how many I hooked up tonight, but I'm a bunch. One heck of a night. It's been this a night. To get me in the Snook light fishing is always a blast. This, this, this night has been hookups. amazing. Snook light fishing has been awesome. Fly fishing is just another ball game. This is great. I think we can, let's see if we can land this one. <laughs> I'm not touching them. <laughs> All right. We got him. We got him. There he is. Look at that. Beautiful specimen. <laughs> Look at that. It. Nice. Good work, buddy. Thank you, brother. Well, me and Dave just doubled up on fly. Pretty cool. If only we had a third person to film. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Lots of snooks in this light. Oh, Dave's back at it with the fly still. Alright guys, I just want to do a little recap of the snook light fishing video. Me and Dave did pretty good out there tonight. Uh, Dave got his first snook on fly, which was really cool. I got my personal best, which I was psyched about. Um, a little bit of our footage got a little messed up out there. It was super windy. There was a storm. We basically ran around it and hid for a little while. Um, when you're casting in the lights for the snook, you'll see a bunch of them in there. You can cast right in the light. Sometimes it spooks them. Sometimes they hit it. But the trick I like to use is I actually throw past the light into the shadows, and then I reel my lure right through the light, and they usually hammer it. Um, I was tossing this guy mostly right here little tube jig really got the job done this thing works really well you can tip it with shrimp and make it work even better um, in the winter time that works really well when the snook are down low and the water's cold you tip this with some shrimp and just reel it slowly through that light and they usually hammer it um, I was tossing an eight weight fly rod and my main weapon of choice was this guy right here my reaper rods, seven foot, medium fast, hooked up to a Osprey 3000 Florida Fishing Products reel, 15 pound cast king braid, 40 pound cast king leader. Um, I recommend 30 to 40 pound test when you're fishing the lights because nine times out of 10, 
those fish are buried in some good structure and that thicker leader is going to help you pull them out of there and not get broken off as much. Um, you can use a little lighter leader if you want to go down to 25 you may get more hits but you're risking losing more fish. Um, I haven't tried going thinner leader really and seeing how the results are with how many hookups I get because I usually get a ton on the 40 pounds so I've never really gone lower than that. Some of our lures I didn't go over. Um, X wraps, I think it's called the Ghost. Well, white one, that one works really well in the lights. Um, obviously, live bait works. You can use shrimp, greenies. I just really prefer the live or the artificial because you can get out there. It's not a rush. If you go after work, um, you don't got to worry about running out there, getting bait, getting in before the sun goes down. You can just go out there as the sun's going down, tie on your lures. Wait till the lights pop on, give them, you know, 30, 40 minutes to warm up, let the snooks gather, and then they should be pretty fired up. Just throw lures, anybody can do it, super easy. Really fun, fun way to fish for snook and trout, even tarpon, redfish. I've caught, I've caught all of them out of snook lights before. All right guys, that basically wraps up the snook light fishing video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just comment below, I'll get to them as fast as I can. Until next video, tight lines everybody.